Welcome back to my channel. Wow, it has been a long time since I have said that. I think it's been, I've uploaded a couple shorts here and there. I have not uploaded any official full length YouTube videos and I have had the itch to get back on YouTube and I'm so excited about it. Long format content is totally my thing. If you're in a time crunch, you can follow me on Instagram at Misa Lydiard. I share daily stories, daily reels, posts, but I thought it'd be great to have a spot where I can have more in depth, more detail. I don't have to worry about rushing what I'm saying or getting to the point and we can talk a little bit more about the details. Um, and I thought the first video would be perfect for our primary bedroom and it is decorated for fall. I think less is more. That is my decor and design, intentional design motto. So I'm going to walk you through and share with you different things in our room that I've added to have the fall touch. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. I just want you. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. I just need you. I don't know. Okay, so right when you walk in, we have this beautiful detail on our wall. This paint color is Onyx um, by Benjamin Moore, and we've used it a lot throughout the house. The contrast is just stunning when you add um, some lighter colors to go against that dark background. The first touch of fall, which you can definitely tell, is I added these beautiful faux, uh, I believe they're eucalyptus leaves, and I got them from Pottery Barn. And what I like about not necessarily splurging on stems, but getting like a good quality is that these are timeless. They will last year after year. So I believe each of these were $59, and this is styled with three. So we have these beautiful, um, it's like a muted, they're muted, but these ones are a little bit darker and then I have one that's lighter over here. And I styled that with this beautiful handcrafted uh, pitcher also from Pottery Barn. I will link everything uh, in case you're looking to add anything to your home. And when I link everything, everything is affiliate links. So just so that you are aware and yeah, I always appreciate your support. I did light an anthropology candle. I love the volcano scent. That's still hands down my favorite. And I do have a Pura uh, that I do need to plug in. That I just have right there that I um, plug in with my volcano. And I do have a couple of fall scents coming as well. I like those because you just, you control them from your phone. You can pick when you want it turned off, um, how much is left. Um, I do prefer that more than the candle, but the candle for the ambience, the video, like, come on, it's amazing. Next, let's go over to bedding. Now, I like this bedding because it's very versatile. So this would work, honestly, in the summer, the fall, the winter. Um, and they there are so many colors um, from... This. this is also Pottery Barn. I get a lot of my things from Pottery Barn just because it's good quality and the shipping is, it's not crazy. I feel like sometimes with buying things online, the shipping costs can be insane and I feel like theirs are pretty reasonable, but there's actually a really, there's some beautiful fall colors, um, but I just have this beautiful dark gray and I just got two King Shams and um, this quilt. The quilt is kind of like what you can interchange. I mean, you can interchange everything, obviously, but it's the easiest because changing a duvet cover is a pain in the butt. All right, and then I did add a couple other accent pieces. This is from Bull and Branch. It's their waffle blanket. It comes in um, a lot of other colors as well. This one actually really surprised me because usually when you have this waffle texture, it's not super soft. This one is so soft. I use this all the time, just when I'm lounging around, and I've actually been looking to get a darker navy one for my boys' rooms. Uh, they just, it adds the perfect amount of texture to a bed, which I feel like with beds and bedding, it's all about the layers. The more layers, uh, the more grand it looks. And I don't like to go too crazy with throw pillows, um, just because I'm going for a more modern, simple feel, but I mean, you have to have the layers. So let's talk more about the bedding. So. My duvet cover is from, and my sheets are from Bull and Branch as well. 
Um, I've tried a lot of different sheets. None of this is sponsored, by the way. Um, and so far, Bowen Branch is my favorite. That's not to say I don't switch things up. I do have some from Brooklinen. Where else have I tried? I just want to kind of try them all. I'm going to try some from Cozy Earth because I really want to know. But Brooklyn, um, Bowen Branch has felt the most luxurious, uh, super soft. So, and I just went with white. But I kind of want to get like a light tan too. Um, and then I have three Eurochams right here, the big ones. And this kind of helps just make it seem a little bit more grand. And those are also from Bull and Branch. My bed frame right here is from Restoration Hardware. This is so, this was on clearance. This bed's on clearance. So they're discontinuing it, which is okay, because guess what? There's always fun things that are coming out. So I will link something similar um, if it's not available anymore, but we went with a performance fabric and this is a white performance fabric. I do wish we didn't go with white and we did something with a little bit more like a light color. We have the cloud couch in Dove and it's absolutely beautiful, but this has luckily like not stained at all. Knock on, knock on wood. Um, and then our nightstands are also from Restoration Hardware. I've never done a full tour of this room, but I'll get into more details later. I have so many ideas of things I want to film. So many. Heading over to our fireplace. So this is an Austin white limestone. It is dry stacked and absolutely beautiful. This stone is sourced from Texas. So if you want it, you actually have to go there to get it um, or find somebody to bring it back to you. <laughs> This is the Samsung Frame TV. It is 100% worth um, the money and anything like that. The way it works is there is a box that you have to have a place for. So our builder obviously made a spot behind it. There are other ways that you can go about it. Whether with our great room, we had it in um, a built-in on the other side of your place. So you kind of have to get creative and really make sure that it's going to work for your space or else it won't lay flat. And it being flat is what makes it look like a piece of art. So I chose this beautiful birch trees. Are they birch? Yeah, they look birch. And made that kind of a fall moment. You can literally, it changes the whole feel of a room. I am obsessed and we almost didn't add these into our house because I was like, oh, everybody's still gonna know it's a TV. They still do, but it is such a moment. It makes it feel so high end. Here are the Restoration Hardware Kidding campaign as well, the uh, nightstands. This side of my husband's, this is my husband's side. I didn't want to add another um, faux plant because I don't want it to compete, but I wanted like a little bit of an organic, an organic feel to it. So I picked up this, this is from Crate and Barrel. And then all of this is from Studio McGee, the beads, the linen books that I love. This is from um, Amazon. And we do have these wired for pendant lights. The ones that we ordered were back ordered. And so we just canceled the order and I'm just taking a breather. And I, when the time comes that I find something I'm obsessed with, I will jump on it. But for now, I feel like it's great. I have a seat right here. I will share the dimensions of this room as well in, I call it description box? Yeah, it's been a while. In the description box. This is the Sherpa, not Sherpa, what is this? Let me lower it. This is the swivel chair that I have from All Modern. It's like a bou performance boucle, and it has been awesome. I actually really, I love it here, but I really want to put it in my closet. I think it would be so perfect when I'm getting ready. This would be just so cute, it adds that texture. Here are some of the new pillows that I picked up from Pottery Barn this weekend. So this is the Belgian flax linen. I actually have this in another color red that I've had for a few years. These are a little pricey. They're like, mm, just the cover is $99. But what I like about it, you buy the insert, you buy the cover. When you get bored of the color, you just put it away. You put, take the pillowcase off, fold it up, put it away for another season. Um, and there you go. I think they're 100% worth the splurge to have inserts and the pillowcase separate because then you can always switch things around you can wash things it's not i think this actually has to be dry cleaned, which is crazy did not know that um but this is the color straw and they have a bunch of other colors as well but i just think this looks really nice against the boucle fabric the lighting is a little crazy so i wanted to bring in the fall vibe this i haven't even taken off the tags because i literally 
just got it this weekend. Um, what is it called? Like I said, I'll have everything um, linked below, but it's the perfect brown, super fuzzy, and I can actually see it in a million places. It layers really well with pillow. You can kind of see the contrast there. Um, so I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do. I might put these both in my living room, but right now they are in my our bedroom because I thought it looked really nice for fall. Here you go. You can kind of see the fun contrast. Those just overtake the boucle swivel though. So I've just been putting this right in this basket over here. This is an all my modern basket. It actually comes in a set of two, but I just have one in here. And then this is a Jason Wu throw, which has this beautiful orange copper in it that I just have in there. Um, and I'll just stick this in here as well. This is the cozy corner. It's always changing. I thought about putting a tree, a plant right here. This is our custom rug from Stanton Carpet. It honestly was, when you compare custom rugs to buying a rug online, it just depends what you're looking for. These are made to last. So I think this one was about $2,000, but it has this non-slip padding. You don't need a um, carpet pad underneath and it's carpet, so it's incredibly resilient. Okay, and then lastly, for the fall tour, <laughs> is this mirror. This mirror is from our house, and it is the Linnea. They actually don't sell it anymore. They have uh, made a newer version called the Lyra, which I will have um, linked, and it is a moment, and it really opens up the space. We just recently added this. They were selling the floor, model and even though it was a lot of work to get here it was 100 percent worth it because i think we snagged it for like 700 dollars, which is a steal but it this was the mirror was actually on sale not that long ago but it says it's a stand it's like a um a leaning mirror but it actually comes with a kit i believe to hang it my husband um hung it himself everything's in this um the studs is that how you say it I'm just hopping on real quick. I forgot to do a proper outro. That's how out of the loop I am. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. You can find all the information, hopefully that you need in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And in the meantime, before my next upload, you can always follow me at Misa Lydiard on Instagram. I will see you guys there. Bye. What is it that you do?